What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of the Manager Let's Play. Today is a mid season report episode. We'll look at how wings are going, we talk about some stuff, and we start planning for anything we're going to do in the market. Now, um, it's not quite mid season report, but at the Barcelona game, I just want to take a breather <laughs> after that this ridiculous decision that was given. Um, I've put it on the forum and see what they say, what the reason for that is, because it, it, never, it, it does not look like a penalty. You haven't seen the episode. Go watch it. Um, so we'll look through how the season's going and where we're at and then look at a couple of things we want to talk about with tactics and look at the transfer window and decide on what, if anything, we're going to do in the market. So as you can see, we're top of the table by a point, or two points, sorry. Um, that would have been a really good win for Barcelona if we, could, if we could have got it. But it's the only defeat all season we've had and it was a narrow defeat and we could have got a draw out of that game easily. Um, so over on the league, very impressive. I mean, the only two draws we've had were disappointing draws. So it's been... A good start to the season. Champions League, we're doing really well. We've beat, we've beaten the teams we should beat in the Champions League. We've got one draw against Juventus. We should have won that game, and we lost to Liverpool four 0 which is a disaster. So, but overall, we're doing okay. We should be able to get through the league phase because we've got, um, we've got PSV and Fenerbahce in the next two games. So, you know, and both at home. So that should be enough to get through the group stage and win it, um, hopefully. Spanish Cup, we don't enter that until the third round, obviously. That's still, still not um, happening yet. And next live com is the same final against Barcelona. So we've got to do better than the last time against them. That's um, going to be a massive game for us. Who else is in the Super Cup? Uh, Cadiz and Let's Go Madrid. It could be a repeat of last year's final. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry, no. Wrong competition. Um, we, we was in the Spanish Cup last year, weren't we? Yeah, that was the final we won last year. So, overall, I'm very pleased how things are going with the season. Now you look at the squad and the goal return is pretty good um, in terms of like variety. You have Liz Jr. top goal scored with 11, then you've got Endrick with 9, Belen with 9, Rooney with 4, Leonardo with 3, Modric with 2. Now Leonardo will get more if he was playing at striker. Um, I need to maybe start bringing him in more, but he, he's getting the balance right between playing Endrick and getting him in football, but also getting um, rotation in there. So overall, the goal is, 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 is going quite well. In terms of the tactic, so it's easy to talk about in this episode because when I'm doing live comms, my brain gets fried because I'm just like focused on the game and it's it, it's more intense. The, the problems we're having is getting this formation to be a pressing formation. Now, we've got a very high line. Not the highest line, but it's as high as I can make it. Um... And it's not, I'm not seeing this on the pitch. I'm not seeing this. This is the big problem with this tactical screen is what you see here does not happen on the pitch. So you look at tactics here, they're basically here. They're not up here where they should be. The high, the defender, the defender should be on the halfway line, but you don't see it in the game. And I get it's a, it's a representation, it's an estimation of what's going to happen in the game, but I don't see it. So I want to get a high pressing system in with short passing, with intense, quick, quick tempo, short passing with high. High intense pressing. Now, part of me thinks reason is a work rate and aggression up front. And you look at the people I've got here. I haven't got it. I've got work rate on Rodrigo, but not not aggression. Uh, Lee Junior, I've got aggression but decent work rate. And I'm also thinking maybe this midfield three is not really pushing up. Bottom midfield is going to defend. Tim is going to defend. So I'm thinking we need to change this. Now, the problem is, what do we put it as? Do we put it as... I mean, because the, is, the, the problem I've got with this formation and what I want to do, it, it's working, right? Most of the time. It, it, I've not changed to a 4 2 3 1 in any of these games. Maybe one, maybe. I might have done it once. I might have done, I might have done it against Porto, I can't remember. Um, but it's working. But it's the big teams. We, we can't seem to dominate possession with, with it. So... But overall, it's working. So I'm reluctant to change too much in this formation because Bellingham is getting goals from there. Bavaria is doing well. We're dictating play with Modric. But I want to get this team to be a more uh, high energy pressing team. And part of the problem I've got with the game is not so much I know what instruction to put on. It's how to get the game to do it is the problem. A lot of people say, yeah, but that makes sense. You know, to do it, though, you've got to have this function on the, in your team or this instruction or this role. And that's what we're trying to get at and what I need to try and make happen is to get... Because what I want to happen is 
These three are whatever the press. Force a low percentage ball at the pitch. We win that ball in the air or 50-50 ball. And then we go um, from there and build up and be aggressive. This is fine. This works fine. Um, working the box is working really well. We're taking our time, picking up their options. This works really, really well. This is something that I'm not sure about. Um, it, it is an issue, potentially at times, but it's okay. It's This is the problem. It's getting this to... Getting this what I'm seeing here. I mean, maybe, maybe it's a bit too aggressive. That maybe that should be what we, st we st stick to. It's getting this to happen in game. I'm not seeing it now. Is it down to roles, or is it down to the fact that these players don't really want to press? Um, so I just thought I'd do a video for you to guys to give me your thoughts on it. So then we can have the decision. Uh, you give your thoughts in the comment section. I'll be doing my own research on it. My suspicion is it's a combination of both. It's the roles I've got here, which I'm not quite sure which roles are the wrong ones, and also um, the work rate and aggression, because I think you've got to be quite aggressive to press, and I'm thinking maybe we don't have that with these players. Now, of course, we could go to an ultra-possession-based team um, rather than pressing, um, but the main thing is, in these big games, we're not consistent. Uh, we don't dominate the teams enough. I mean, Liverpool played this film, the version we play, and they dominated us. Same with Barcelona. They dominated their... their I think, oh, did they dominate us actually in that game? So have a quick look. Not really. We should have got a draw and dodge a penalty. So, but Liverpool, they were comfortable winners in that game. But you look at the stats, it's 50% 50, 50 possession. So we, we, we get a good amount of ball. We're just, it's, it's, it's a conundrum in my head. I wish I want to go with it. We could go either way. Now, when it comes to the midfield, this area of the pitch here is a problem. Because we've got Tony Cruz, who's 34. He can't move. We've got Modric, who is 39. Cannot move. I'm thinking we've got to move these guys on. Um, and bring somebody else in. Now, we've got options in the midfield. We've got Kamavinga who can play in that position. Um, which is not bad. Uh, we've also got Tumenji who can play in that position as well. Again... Not terrible, but not ideal. So I'm not sure as to what the best thing to do in, in, in midfield is. You look at Bob midfielder, for example, which what those two many would probably play in that position. It would be, you know, for example, what we could do is this, right? We make this, we make him a Bob midfielder, put Valverde into there, make these, and then two men is the guy I prefer. And what's his best role in the midfield central? What's, he, what's that do? Stay wider? Not a good idea. Um, and you just have him as you make him a central midfielder attack, and you make him a box to box or something like that. This is an idea that I've had. The idea being that he's on attack getting forward, he's on a box to box running up and down the pitch, he's sitting in front of the back four. That way, we've got four guys pressing up the pitch there. Um, that sorry, five sorry. That would maybe help that pressing, and maybe get these wing backs to be on attack. For example, so, so they are pushing forward as well. So this is the idea that I've got because I need to get this team re-energized. Modric and Cruz are just getting too old. Um, obviously, it's not long-term save; it's a short-term save. We're winning Champions League, so it could be over this season. But we need to try and work to work to work out how to get this to function correctly, and that is an idea I've got. Um, that way, I can then move on Modric and move on Cruz. At least one of them, probably move on um, Cruz more. I'm um, more, more actually probably more likely to be moved on, um, and then maybe bring somebody else younger in who can who can play that. And yeah, so that is the idea. Now, if I did this, this has a benefit of if I really can be born with a further in there, I can rotate with somebody else into that. In that I, I can rotate, you know, kind of in good box to box. He can play that role fine. So there, he will take with two Menji. I'd bring in a born midfield into that role. I've got to buy one because we've got fifty million pounds spend in transfer in transfer market. I don't think we'll get any more out of them. Um, so let's have a look and see what they recommend for that role. Um, oh, DM, sorry, wrong button. Bournemouth midfielder suggest. So Calvin Phillips, Joseph Fafana. I mean, that's not a bad option. Um, again, I was just scouting upon him to get a information on him. But yeah, so that is what I'm thinking of going towards. But again, it's all about, is that going to work? Um, and 
it is a conundrum. It's every year I know how I want my team to play. It's just getting to work out how to get the match engine to do it and what attributes, what attributes I needed for that. So I'll be doing research myself, of course, trying and work this out. But you guys give me thoughts in the conversation on this as well. Do you think this is the way to go to get a high pressure team? Or should we change tactic and go with more position based? Because I don't mind doing that either, but I get frustrated with it because I get frustrated how, how, long, how many times they overplay when I do that. Um, yeah, so we shall see what people think, what you think about this, guys. This is the idea. I think it, it fixed the problem with Kamavinga and to mention not playing much football. It gets Valverde. Um, when, what, would he, what would that role actually entail him doing if I do that? Um, yeah. Okay. So we could do our support and make it out of the pitch. And then, because it says there, it says, sorry, I took it off. It says, with support of you, so the ball midfielder will aim to win the ball high out the pitch, resulting in counter-attack opportunity. So I think this is what we need to do. Um, is This is definitely, I think, the way of getting it to work more. more. These four routes getting forward, pushing out the pitch, forcing a, long, uh, forcing a percentage, low percentage ball. Obviously, we'll have to try it out in games and see how it goes. Um, and against Barcelona, it could be a problem. But I do feel like these front three maybe are not designed for pressing. It could be if we just tell them to be out of the pitch and these guys are out behind them, it might just force, just by, by nature, like they've been ultra cautious, the teams are playing against to go for long balls, even if they're not like intensely chasing off the pitch. Because they're higher up, these guys are pushing up a bit more. We can then have a situation where they've got to play a low percentage ball because it's too risky to play, it's too risky to play a short one. The down downside to this is we could be more open on the counter, but I'm aware that's the thing. Um, but I think the, I think as most teams, it would dominate games and make it easier for us to win matches when we're struggling. So, give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. This is why I do it. I do these videos for two reasons. One, so I can out say out loud what I'm thinking. It gives you guys a, a little mini break in the series so you can catch up on videos if you, if you want to catch up on them. And also, it gives you guys a chance to give your thoughts on things so I can change it. If you think, if, if, I'm, on, if I'm onto a winning idea, if you think, yeah, that's, that's exactly what you need to do. Or no, mate, do this instead. It gives me hope. I always say that the, our saves we do, they're not my saves. The, technically, they are my saves. It just gives you guys a chance to get involved and give me some advice and help and hints and tips before we go into the real um, crux of the action. So, um, yeah, guys. Um, Leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section on this or all, all, all the things I've discussed here. Um, next video will go live in a couple of days. It's next episode is going to be, um, well, it should be that Super Cup final, shouldn't it? Semi final. So we'll do that in its entirety because it could go to extra time and penalties. Yeah. So we'll do those four games off camera. Oh, those no, three games, sorry. One, two, three games off camera. And then after that, we'll see what we're thinking round about here. It might be we do um, those two after that. Um, it depends on the Champions League group's league phase, how it goes. But we'll do those, probably do those two games there. Because in that way, we can summarise the Johnny window if we've done anything and go from there. Because that third round game is most likely going to be a lower te lower ranked team. It, well, it was last year. Um, so, yeah. Your thoughts, guys, on the tactic and ideas below. I mean, obviously, we've got a list of players I can look, I can look through here and see what I, what I think. And that is not going to happen, by the way. Um, but I do feel like that could be a, uh, this 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 tactic here, this change here could be a good option. It's got energy in it. Um, it I mean, it's got more energy in it, more stamina, more pace, more work rate, and it. I think it might be better than Cruz. I, I'd keep one of them. I'm not gonna get rid of both of them. I keep one of them. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So your thoughts down below in the comment section, guys. I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. I really would appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe as well. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>